Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse this clutter mess I have going on. Should I even turn on the candle? But it gives it ambiance. I kind of want the ambiance. You can't even really tell. <laughs> all that work. I did not do one of those monthly trays where I pick out all these fragrances this month. Honestly, because I picked out so many and I just put, I filled up this whole little counter. It's not a very big counter, but I just really overdid it. So I didn't even bother making a video because the video would be too long and it would be difficult to edit. So I'm just showing you guys this big mess. I have a bunch of perfumes that are in my chopping block that I wanted to put out here to see if to see if I like them, if they're staying or if they're not. I also have some like project pans, like this is in my project pan. And then I also have some that I've just been craving that feel like fall to me. I feel like early fall because I'm not yet into like the deep gourmands. Like I'm not there yet. I'm I'm transitioning into that, but I'm not fully there yet. So what is this video even about? I'm really just showing you guys basically what I have out on my tray and what I've been wearing lately or what I'm planning on wearing. <laughs> this is just so you guys can see the reality. I don't have a perfectly curated tray. It's really just everything. Everything that I felt like bringing out here. And I was not planning to make this video. I actually think I should hold it like this. First I have Nishane's Ani. This was actually in my chopping block and I already wore it and I discovered how to wear this because that's what I was struggling with is how to wear this scent profile and I realized that this is not a scent that I want to be associated with or known to smell like. So it's not one of those perfumes. It's a perfume that's just for me. So when I will wear this is when I'm out doing things on my own. And also I don't really wear a lot of perfumes at home and even for home I have a different type of perfume that I like. It's mostly like sweet gourmands that are not very serious. They're just like fun, easygoing perfumes. So this one to me smells a little bit serious. It's not the type of perfume, like I said, that I want to project out into the world, but I do enjoy wearing it for me. So that's, so I'm keeping this and that's when I'm going to wear it. It's a one ounce bottle, so I do believe I could go through it without uh, running the risk of it going bad. Next I have Vanilla Sky, which I've already actually worn a couple of times, and I have really enjoyed it. It's a very light, early fall vanilla. It's perfect. It's not too dense, thick, rich. It's just a beautiful, airy, cappuccino vibe. So I already wore that a couple times. And then today I actually today I actually tried Cacherelle's Yes I Am, and I wasn't feeling it. I was just kind of like, hmm, this is a little bit... The gardenia in there was like really coming out and I was like this is a little bit too floral so I actually layered it with a Bath and Body Works spray let me grab that hold on I layered it with black raspberry vanilla and I still didn't like it I think the black right the black raspberry vanilla was actually a little bit like really tart almost like a tart raspberry candy so I don't know maybe it's just my nose but I was not feeling it so this was my scent combo and I was not feeling it today which is so weird so these are now I don't know what it's called. Maybe it's a chopping block. I don't know. These are on thin ice. If if I wear these again and I have an issue with them, then they're going to go. But for now, um, like I said, I just wasn't loving it. Um, I don't think I've worn any of these yet. I keep saying I'm going to wear this, but I see this like as a dress-up perfume. So I'm waiting for the dress-up occasion. But I went to a quinceanera and a wedding, but it wasn't that dressed up for like that kind of event. I have my go-tos for those events already, so still have not found the perfect time to wear that. But I feel like I only have maybe another three to five uses in here and I could be done with it. But I have to find the right occasions. I pulled out, this is also on the chopping block, but I really like it, so I'm pretty sure it's going to stay. I love these. These are the ones I was craving. Oh, you know what? I also wore this. I know this is like maybe a trashy perfume to some people, maybe a cheapy perfume. Pink Sugar Berry Blast and without a lid just to like add a little bit to the trashiness, you know? I actually really, really liked it. This, this was good. I don't care what anybody thinks about this or I just don't care. I don't care if anybody judges me for this, okay? I really like this and it's a dupe for something that I absolutely love which I will just make a different video about and we'll talk about that another time. Got my Black Perfecto back there. That's a, that's one of my 
unapproachable perfumes that I actually really enjoy during the fall and winter. Then I got my Crybaby Cologne, Vanilla 28 because you know, it's time. It's about that time for that. And also, um, this is one that I really want to get to know. It's Black Orchid by Tom Ford. I got I put the ones in the back that I don't need rem that I don't need a reminder to reach for. I just I gravitate towards those. My Blanche Bet, like obviously like that's one that I always want to reach for. That's one that I have to stop myself from reaching for. And then my Girl of Now, it's time for Girl of Now. It's back there. And so is Replica Mat Matcha Meditation, which I love. Um, it felt like it was time to try out Dark Cherry and Amber by Banana Republic. And then my Sophia, what is this called? Like Very Sophia. It's like a coffee floral scent. It's pretty nice. A um, little bit in the vibes of like Black Opium, but a little bit more easygoing and airy. And then Ellie Saab, Le Parfum. I just want to try that. I put this out here, but I didn't, I haven't like pulled the trigger on wearing it. It's still smelling a little bit th too sweet for me. Like it's not fall, it's not cold enough for this one yet, apparently, which is weird because I usually can wear this all the way through the springtime, but right now I'm just not ready for it. Every time I go reach for it, I'm like, wait, it's not time yet. It's not time yet. Got my um, guess seductive. Noor, I like that one also for the early fall. That one's really nice. Got my cashmere sweater one right here. And see, these are all, this one and this one, and the Pin Rose Secret Genius are in my chopping block. This one is an easy, very easy reach for me. Easy reach, easy reach. Should I tell you guys what they are? You guys should know, right? Rihanna's Rebel Nude. Britney Spears, what is that, Fantasy? something something kind of fan electric electric fantasy and then the new sabrina carpenter i'm excited to wear that this is also an easy reach and a very underrated fragrance ariana grande's moonlight it's such an easygoing fruity scent that doesn't smell very cheap a little shampooy but i think it's really good I, I definitely think this one is underrated all of the other ones get more hype and I've had some issues with most of the other ones and this one to me doesn't give me that cheap synthetic vibe that I get in a lot of her other ones in the same shape so I guess that's just me. Actually I was talking to somebody else in the comments and they agree that this is underrated <laughs> and my guess Seductive Red is in a project pan and it's getting there and then I, this is on the chopping block Britney Spears prerogative because I'm getting a cheap synthetic vibe from it. This is on the chopping block. Um, whiff of waffle cone because I get a little bit of gasoline in it. And then my, what is this, Nirvana Rose. This is my gothy perfume that I, I really like it. I forgot, I think it's just on the chopping block to see if I'll actually wear it. Not because I don't like it. And then Mariah Carey Dreams, it's a light, airy, easygoing, perfect, literally perfect for early fall. But it's such an easy scent, like it's such an easy reach that I sometimes forget about it, you know, because I'm over here reaching for the absolute loves or the polarizing ones or the ones that are brand new. So ones that are like that kind of, it's so weird, like because they're easy going, they end up on the back burner for, for no reason. I don't know if I went through every single perfume, but I think I did. Oh, there's Coach coach just a regular signature um the one that's with rose and a little bit of leather or suede i believe that one i'm also testing out to see if i like it i haven't had it for that long so that is my tray oh wait one more i actually wore this for a quinceanera um i wore this layered with lancome's la vie belle i know so basic of me but this is after hours and I went to go get coffee before we stopped at the quinceanera and the girl at the window, I wasn't even the one ordering, I was in the passenger seat and the girl at the window was like, oh my gosh, you smell amazing. And I thought she was talking to my husband because she was talking, she was near, closer to my husband. But she was like, no, it's you, it smells amazing. I had her smell it to see if this is what she was smelling and she said yes and she absolutely loved it. She like wanted to get it she said she was gonna get this so I guess this is kind of a compliment getter the reason why I wore this layered with the other one is obviously because it doesn't last very long and because I like to spray this all over so including my hair I don't spray it like directly on my hair but I just kind of 
create this big cloud of mist around me that it definitely gets in my hair and that's that's what I was going for so this is actually really nice I liked it and I thought it smelled really good it's one of the only jasmine perfumes I'm very very finicky with jasmine I really don't like jasmine sandbag and this is this was a nice jasmine in my opinion not too indolic not too ambery it's a nice decent jasmine so I mean it says amber dusk but it wasn't very ambery so that is my November tray or whole cabinet whole counter I guess my November wait did I say November so that is my whole October it's not even a tray my October counter <laughs> It's a messy. You see why I didn't make a video? Because it's just so many. And there's so much going on. So that's my tray, guys. It's a mess. What do you guys think? I will talk to you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.